welcome back to another video at KL Tech Videos. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to talk about how you download things online, specifically torrents and NZBs. If you're into downloading things online in this manner, you might be wondering, what's the deal with torrents and NZBs? The biggest difference is, Torrents are all about sharing with other people, while NZBs are like having a fast, private delivery service for files. Think of downloading with NZBs as a three-step process. You'll need three parts. The Finder, also known as the NZB Indexer. Sites like NZB Geek are your search engines for files on Usenet. You search for that movie or software you want, and they give you the special NZB file address. The second step is the warehouse, the Usenet provider. Companies like News Hosting operate those huge file servers called Usenet. That's where your content actually lives. So the NZB indexer knows exactly where on the Usenet provider those files are. And the third step is the delivery person, your NZB downloader, equivalent to your torrent client. Software like Zab NZB understands NZB files. It reads them and goes straight to the Usenet server and gets your file super fast. Why does it work this way? Well, Usenet is old school, so finding exactly what you want directly on their servers would be tough. Indexers make Usenet easy. They search, you point your downloader at the file, and boom, speed and privacy. So there you have it. Torrents are about sharing files with each other and therefore depend on the availability of how many people have those files and NZB are about getting your files straight from the source quickly and securely, like more traditional downloads. Now let's move on to setting up this service. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to download Zab NZB, and all the links will be in the description below. So let's click OK, run at startup, and install. Now you may get a prompt before you start the installation process from Windows Defender. You can just click more information and run anyway. Okay, and we'll double click Zab NZB. And that launches the wizard. So simple as we'll click English, start wizard. And this is where we can start putting information in from our content provider. So if I jimmy back on over here. Um, these are the three parts I was talking about earlier on. You're going to need something like an index uh, such as NZB Geek. It is paid. It's about £4.70 for six months. That's fantastic value, by the way. Um, and then you're also going to need news hosting, which is charged monthly about seven, seven or eight pounds a month, something like that. Um, this is basically the difference between these two, like I said earlier, is indexing. This thing knows exactly where those files are. So when you do a search up here, you can find out where, you know, pretty much anything is. Very rare. It doesn't have something you're looking for. Um, but that's why also people say you should use a few different things. Now, a lot of these uh, indexes are actually uh, behind invite-only systems. But NZB Geek, it currently, at the time of uh, recording, this is open to anyone. And if it ever does come to an invite-only system, subscribers of my channel, I'll do my best to help get you those invites if needed. Now, newshosting.com is basically the provider. It houses... All the files that NZB Geek searches. So you need NZB Geek to search files on this provider, which is news hosting. It has all the files, but it doesn't know exactly. It does make it very easy to find those files, and that's why you're using NZB Geek. You'll notice that it also has 60 connections there. That is basically how many connections you can get from your server to their site, which overall improves speed as well. So that's not too bad either. But I just wanted to clarify those differences, uh, which is great. Now, I didn't get the VPN service with this. I, I chose the option without it because I just don't need it. Um, I do have NordVPN if I want to, 
But the simple fact that uh, this is on an SSL connection, I just don't see the point of it unless you really want to. I even use AdGuard anyway to encrypt those searches for DNS. Let's not detour too much from uh, this. Um, so yeah, so you're going to need Geek NZB, NZB Geek, uh, and newshosting.com. You're also going to need your downloader, which we just installed, which is Zab NZB as well. And additionally, if you want to integrate this with sonar, LiDAR, radar, things like that, which I do from the Prowler end, as you can see here, NZB Geek, um, you certainly can, and I'll show you how to do that in this video as well. So once you're fully registered with NZB Geek, you're fully registered with newshosting.com. By the way, they do give you a trial as well, but the value for money is brilliant anyway. Um, over on the wizard, we're going to take uh, from our news hosting provider, we're going to take the URL here for the server address. Plonk that in there. I'm going to fill out my username and password in a second, um, which is going to be from news hosting. The, the other thing to mention is that in advanced settings, you want to see here that it says connections eight. Well, as we just said, we get 60 with news hosting. So make sure you pop that in there. Uh, the SSL box is going to be checked for you on port 563, so that's all good to go. And if we click test server, we'll see that the connection is successful. So we'll click next. As far as that's concerned, its setup is complete. You need to just specify two folders, the download folder for completed files and one for incomplete files. The defaults are fine for me. So we'll click go to ZabNZB. Uh, and this is where we are right now. Now, right now, I haven't got anything uh, selected in here. Um, you may want to put, by the way, if we go to general, so sorry, let's, let's start again. If we go to Zab NZB configuration and we click on general, a really good tip for you is, first of all, make sure you're putting a username and password on this. Get those two things set up. You don't need internet access for this program. It's not what you think. This just means, can you access this? interface from the web if you're running it over a vpn like myself you don't need to do that i would never recommend doing that you've got your api key here as well which is completely uh random by the way that uh, is totally random you could just mess around with that uh, and, and randomize that if you want to click save um but one thing that you should do is hit to the tuning area and your maximum line speed now i run a gigabit connection um I don't want to saturate my network, so I'm going to put a limit in here, 45 megabytes per second and click save. It's going to restart Zab NZB. Uh, and one thing we can do to test this out is if we click on the status and interface options, you'll see there's a place to test our downloads. So if I do the one gig download test, watch how fast this is. Again, I'm on a gigabit connection, but I've limited it to 45 megabytes per second. And it's just so fast compared to torrents. Uh, NZBs just blow my mind. Boom, done. So we're going to delete the test file. I just wanted to demonstrate that for you. Now we've already put our um, server in here, by the way, our news hosting server. So that's done on the Zab NZB side of things. I mean, really, you're good to go. I mean, you can now go over to your uh, NZB, your geek, yeah, your nzbgeek.info. You can start searching for files at this point, right? Uh, and let me just be clear, this isn't um, just for illegal files, things like that, which of course we don't endorse on this channel, but you can download perfectly legal files on here as well really fast so you can just click search find a file you're looking for get that file get download that nzb head over to zab nzb and click add put those details in there and away you go simple as that copy and paste the url or upload the nzb file and just click add create a few settings if you want to uh, and you're good to go but if you're like me and you want to integrate this in Sonar or LiDAR, for example, the first place you want to go to is Prowler. You want to add your indexer, NZB Geek. You want to put your, your NZB Geek a API, which, by the way, you get from your My Account section, uh, which will be here for you. I've just changed mine so no one can see it. You'll copy that over into Prowler's, Prowler's uh, API side down here under news app 
So you'll add that indexer, you'll put your API key and the website address in here, and away you go. I've set my indexer to one, my download client I've set to Zab NZB, and that's good to go. So we'll click save. And then I'll synchronize all the apps across my sonar, my LiDAR, my radar, everything that I use on the R suite, that'll be synchronized over. So that can help with autom automation. You also want to get your download client in here as well. I'm running it on a specialist port 8085 with this IP address. Again, your API key, username, password, you can get all that from whatever you've set up in Zap, which you'll find um, on the cog here under general. Whatever you're setting up in here is what you will set up in Prowler and Sonar and things like that. Now, if I go to indexes here, you'll see all my indexes, but you'll see NCB Geek down here. The URL is that of Prowler because it synchronized itself over the API key. Everything's taken care of on that side of things. But don't forget to set up your download client, Zab NZB. And uh, everything in there. Once you've done that, you can start searching for content. And if, like me, on the indexes, you have set NZB Geek to a priority of one, it will search here before everywhere else. And if in your quality, you set some same limits, for example, I've got mine at no more than three gig an hour file limit sizes, that'll also help with the NCB because you do get a lot of high quality files on there as well. But you can you can set this up as much as you want and in any way that you want uh, to do. So that pretty much concludes the video. I hope that's been of help to you. Please check out the other videos on my channel for more great self-hosted content uh, and some other great app ideas to run. And I can't wait to catch you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.